Coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Becky Pound, man, I appreciate the love. Bam, 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 boom, boom. Appreciate the support, man. 33, 33 years of prison stories, man, I appreciate all the love. Appreciate all the support. Appreciate all the people that's been tapping in on the morning mud. Salute, salute to Coffee Keith. Um, yeah, man, I appreciate the love, man. The uh, you know the uh, camaraderie, man. You know we we right here too, man. We right here at eighty k, man. So that's that's big love, man. That's big things. That's big things. We we got goals, but but you know we moving along. So appreciate everybody who tapped in. Appreciate all the new subscribers and all the people who've been rocking with me, man. Um, this is a positive movement, man. We feed the positive, stop the negative. So if you know anybody about that positivity, tell them come over here on the 33 years of prison stories, man. Oh, today, man, it's a crazy one, man. But, you know, got to talk about it. Got to talk about it because I keep getting asked about it. You know, uh, yeah, man, there's a lot of things um, that can happen to you in prison, man. This crazy. This out of the norm. This not... You know, uh, something that you might see out here in the real world. But um, to me, to me, man, one of the craziest things that uh, can happen to you in there that I have seen happen, happen several, several times, too many uh, times to even think about was uh, dudes, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what, what's the best way to put it, man, when they uh, uh, poop. Poop you down, you know what I'm saying? They use other words in prison. Y'all know the word, you know, the word began with a S, ending with a T. But that's what they that's what they'll say. They say, man, oh yeah, I'ma, you know, I'ma poop you down. You know, so uh yeah, that that, that right there, you know, and what that is is man, you know, dudes will take, you know, they'll take the feces and they they'll, you know, uh mix it with urine and God knows what else, but a lot of people used to do it, you know, with the urine and you know, magic shave and all this stuff. And they, oh my God, ah, it make my stomach hurt just thinking about it, the smell. And, you know, and they'll mix it up and just let it set, man, for some time for days, man. And um, and they'll, they'll, they'll splash you with it. They'll dash you with it, man. You know what I'm saying? They would, yeah, throw it in your face <laughs> I have seen people get hit with it in the face and go in their mouth, go in their eyes, hit all over their body, you know. I done seen it, man. You know, I done seen it happen to COs. I done seen it happen to convicts, inmates, uh, you name it, you know, counselors, you know. Uh, I mean, you know, it's a form of, it's a form of uh, 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 you know, disrespect, you know, to the utmost. And it's a form of protest, man. Dudes get mad. They can't do nothing else. They, you know, this is their only form of, of, of retaliation or whatever. And it goes on mostly, mostly in segregation. You know what I'm saying? It goes on in segregation because you locked up. You behind the door. You know what I'm saying? But I've been to places like, they got segregation, they got, you know, the door got holes all in them, you know, so you can splash something on the door, it's like you might get some backsplash, but you can splash, and it goes straight through the door, and it's right on you, you know what I'm saying, but normally, dudes got the tray slot, what we call the chuck hole, that you, that you open, a little square opening where they got to put the trays and stuff in, I'm quite sure all y'all who ever watched a movie or seeing anything in prison, y'all got a, you know, visual idea of what the trace light like. Now, say you feeding. If you feeding in segregation or you doing showers or something, you know, they might come around and pop all the slots just so they can keep everything moving. You know, they can put the trays in, get the trays back out. Um, They could come around, you know, you got to get handcuffed and seg when you go to the shower. So they come around and cuff you, take dude to the shower 15 minutes bring them back, go get the next person. So they might bust all the chuck holes open just so they can keep things moving. Now, the problem with that is, you know, we in SAG. So when you in SAG, you got a lot of, you know, a lot of tension, a lot of frustration, a lot of irritation. Dudes is mad for whatever reason, besides the fact that we all locked up and caged up like animals in a zoo. But also, you know, 
dudes, you know, get to taking it out on each other. So dudes get to arguing on the gate, you know, snatching butt, you know, talking, you know, selling death, wolf tickets. Oh, I'm going to do this to you. I'll kill you when I see you. Oh, I better not catch you on the yard and all of this foolishness. And a lot of time it be all just welling, you know what I'm saying? They just all just talking because of the simple fact that the, the most time a dude back there and he talking like that and he never talked like that on the yard, you know he not built like that. And if he talking like that, you have to assume, which was most of the time true, he getting transferred. So he ain't going to see you anyway. You know what I'm saying? So he talking tough because he know he not going to run into you because he not coming back out on the yard. You know, and then he might get where he at and he done sold you all this death and he get where he at and put you on the enemy list to make sure he don't never run into you no more. You understand? So it be a lot of a lot of weirdness going on, man, when you in SEG. I mean, a lot of weirdness, man. Dudes be talking to themselves. Dudes be losing their mind back there from, 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 you know, being isolated. You know, dudes go crazy, man. Dudes, dudes, a lot of dudes leave SEG, man, um, more than, than people talk about. And they get a lot of good time back there and SEG and be back there for months and months and months, man. And dudes lose their mind, man. They had to go, get sent out to... Uh, you know, mental hospitals to get a psychological evaluation, you know, because uh, it's rough, man, when you just stuck back there with nothing but your thoughts and your pain and your frustration and nowhere, no outlet, nobody to talk to, nobody to listen to you, nobody to cares, you know, you just going through it. So a lot of dudes be back there, man, and they, 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 they lose their mind, man, you know, and then, like I say, sometimes that turn into aggression. You know, they turn into aggressive. So now they arguing with each other over pettiness. You know what I'm saying? And then a dude might tell you, oh, don't worry about it. I got you. I got you. What you mean? You got me. And then depending upon where you at, if you arguing with somebody that when it comes shower time or it come time for you to go out to go to the uh, just, uh, 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 adjustment committee or anytime it's time for you to come out that cell, if you arguing with somebody, did you got to walk by their cell to go where you going when you getting took out your cell? <laughs> it's a possibility it could go down. So that's what dudes be arguing. And they say, oh, yeah, I got you. Well, you got to come by my cell. Oh, oh so what you saying? What you going to do? Yeah, when you come down, I'm going to poop you down. Man, I wish you would. <laughs> Man, I wish you would. You know, okay, yeah, we're going to see. And they'll do it. You know what I'm saying? What you gonna do? You can't tell it. Uh, CO or nothing, man. Don't, don't, don't. Look, man. Uh, get on this side or don't what man do say. He gonna, Cause now you snitch. You see what I'm saying? So it's it's it's, it's a catch twenty two. But also you have no protection. You got handcuffs on. Probably gonna be handcuffs uh, either behind your back or either strapped straight to your to to your uh, waist. If you got to put the black box on, if you are going on transportation or somewhere like that. So you walk in there. With, with a CO holding your arm or something. And then a lot of dudes are coordinated, John. When they know you getting close to their cell, they ain't had no dude this with them and say, call the police to ask the police something just so the police can bag up a little bit and be out the way. And they will stick that arm out there and dash you, man. You know, throw that, throw that thing right in your face, man, and try to get your face as close as they can or either just get it on you, period. But they shooting for your face. You know what I'm saying? But if that get on the police... Then that's a that's an automatic assault child. You probably going to you probably going to somebody's courtroom and get some more time. You know what I'm saying? But you got dudes back there that don't care anyway because they're gonna say, you know, uh, I was I, I, I was trying to get him. It just got on you, but you gonna get that charge. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, it goes down like that anyway, because dudes don't be thinking all they be thinking about is I'm gonna get them. You know what I'm saying? And and uh man, I'm telling you, uh <laughs> Man, it goes down, man. It goes down, and um, it's 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 just it's horrible. You know, you can have the smell be all in the pod. I mean, you know, you can't get rid of it. You know, dudes are sitting there. They got handcuffs on. They got this stuff all in their face. They can't even wipe their face. They trying to get it. You know, and it, it's nothing. The police just gonna boom close your slot. And he going to get away from you. If it's on him, he going to be going off. He going to be going crazy. But is nobody getting this stuff off your face? <laughs> is nobody getting this stuff off of you? You are the last person that they're going to attend to. You understand? Only thing they're going to do is try to take you down to the shower, put you in the shower, and, and, and let you cut the water on and try to get it off. You know what I'm saying? They're going to deal with that person, give them a charge, whatever they might run in and, you know, chain them down to the bed or whatever the case may be, depending upon, you know, like I say, if it got on the CO or not. But 
he gonna get a case too, but he ain't tripping. He know that before he did what he did. But it ain't gonna erase the fact that you just went through something that you may not never go through in life, man. Now to me, to me personally, man, that is punishable by death, man. <laughs> that is punishable. You throw, man, come on, man. Come on, in my face, on me, period. Man, I remember. <laughs> I remember reading George Jackson, man, book, man, and um, uh, you know, shout out to Big George, man. If y'all don't know nothing about George Jackson, man, go research him and um and, and read a little bit about this uh revolutionary uh icon. But um, yeah, man, George, I remember George said when he was on the prison that he was on, it was it was it was a bunch of racist stuff going on. So he said all of the all of the white dudes, they used to, you know, poop poop the black dudes down when they brought them out for showers, poop them down when they brought them out to go to rent, you know, and the police was in on it. So they used to back up and let you walk in front of them by, you know, by yourself. So they cause they knew what was coming. You know what I'm saying? So it was more like they condoned it. They was down with it, you know. And Big George, like I say, he won't no joke, he won't nothing to be played with. And he, he said he remember being back there and said, and it came time for him to go somewhere. Now, he was telling them when the police was, was, was getting him out the cell, he told them straight up, I'm letting you know right now, if somebody <coughs> throws feces, urine, or any uh, 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 liquid fluids on me, in route to the shower, in route to uh, the rec yard, or in route to anywhere that I need to go, I can assure you that it will make national news. <laughs> Big Joe said, I can assure you it will make national news. Because somebody, anybody, will be held accountable for that. And, and if you can't read between the lines of them threats, then you, you know, you, you, you Steve Wonder, because George won't play no games and his reputation preceded him and they knew he wasn't to be played with under any circumstances. He was a revolutionary, so he prepared to die for whatever, you know, it, it, especially in a, in, a, in a just cause, what he figured to be a just cause. And I can relate to that because, man, I can't, I can't, I, I just can't see I just can't see that, man. You know what I'm saying? Letting that get by, letting that go, letting that, you know, or uh, uh, that just being a one incident and it's over. Nah, man. Nah. You know? And uh, Big George was, um, like I say, man, you, 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 you know, a lot of rules in prison, a lot of um, rules is, was being implemented and being, um, you know, uh, 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 circulated throughout all of the prisons in the country, man. Um, like reading your mail and all of that stuff was you know, uh, implemented because of Big George, the way he carried it in prison. You know, George Jackson, you know, the way he carried it, the power that he had in prison, the influence that he had in prison, the intellect that he had in prison, you know, uh, made them create certain rules because they wanted to know his frame of mind and they wanted to know what he had going on and why so many people was influenced and listened to him, why so many people was willing to follow him. You know, but it was his, it was his integrity. It was the way he, if he stood on something, he stood on, period. You know, and George, man, won't, man, Big George won't no joke, man. You know, Big George say, if you, if you attack me today, if you attack me today with the intent to cause me bodily harm or to take my life, he said, huh. Uh, 365 days from this day that you attack me will be the one year anniversary of your demise. You understand? That's the type. Yeah, that's the type of cat we talking about right there. You know. So you know. Needless to say, man, I was uh, always intrigued and fascinated by reading how he, you know, conducted his life. But and it had a lot of influence on 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 my thinking. And that's what I'm saying, man. If somebody would have did that to me. I would it's there's no links I wouldn't have went to to try to 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 you know uh uh get revenge. I, I if it would have came time for me to get out of seg and my time was up and he was still back there, I would have bucked. I ain't going nowhere. I want to see where he go. 
wherever he go is where I'm trying to go. If he get transferred, I'm trying to get transferred. If he if he go out of state, I'm trying to go. I want to go where he go because all I want to do is be able to be in 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 in, in uh, his physical presence, man. And um, I'm telling you, dudes was going through it, man. Because like I say, that was that was that was they weaponized that stuff. They weaponized it. That was a way that they gonna get at you, and especially when you behind that door, and it ain't nothing you can do about it. Yell, scream, uh, shoot threats to them, tell them what you're going to do. But at that moment, there's nothing you can do besides try to get a shower and get this stuff up off you, man. And then it's a, it's something, like I say, you'll never forget. You know what I'm saying? You'll never forget that, man. That is uh, yeah, that is uh, crazy, super crazy. Man, but a lot, of, a lot of people went through it, though. A lot of people went through it. I've witnessed it more times than I care to, to, to remember. You know, And I've seen it done to women. You know what I'm saying? I've seen it done to women, you know. And I told y'all about one incident when the, when the dude Miami did it to, to, to the female uh, officer, you know. And, um, man, they brutalized him, you know what I'm saying? They brutalized him, but he knew it was coming, you know what I'm saying? But in all honesty, you know, verbally, verbally, you, especially in segregation, you will be dealing with some women, you know, verbally that's so disrespectful, so belittling, so, you know, uh, 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 condescending to you man that it will drive you crazy because they know that you are helpless they know that you behind the door and they know that only thing that you got is your voice to try to make them feel a certain type of way so they'll turn around and they be using that against you man they talk about your mama they talk about your kids they laugh at you they play with your food you know so uh, i mean you know you try to get their attention for something that you actually need they ignore you it's like you helpless. And then once a dude start feeling like that and he start feeling like ultimately disrespected, it, it, it comes down to where he said, oh, I got something for you. <laughs> I got something for you. And and, and man, it, 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 I, yeah, don't nobody want it, man. I'm telling you, don't nobody want it. And um, the, man, them dudes used to fix them little concoctions up, man. And they slang them, man. They slang them and they done had a whole pod lit up. You know, the whole pod lit up. And, I mean, I've seen it happen a few times on population, you know, but, you know, on population, if it happened on population nine times out of ten, let's a dude do it from the cell. Do it to lock himself in the cell and, and, and hit you with one of them bombs, you know, and, and, and you can't and it can't get your dope. And they can wait for the police company and, and get them locked up, you know what I'm saying? So he ain't gonna, you ain't going to never be able to get them. But I seen a few dudes that was brave enough to pull up on dudes and, 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 and you know, straight in the face joint with a bomb. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, bag up and act like they want to run because they don't really want to entangle with you because they already know what's on you. You know what I'm saying? So dudes in the block can get mad, though, because they going to snap. Somebody else might attack you because, you know, you got this smell in the, in the pod. You got it sprinkled out and splattered out everywhere. You know, so it, it just be insanity, man, when you see that. It just being Saturday to me. And like I say, people on the street might not never see that. You might not never see that unless you go to a movie and see it somewhere in a movie. You know what I'm saying? You got dudes in there, they, man, that segregation that drive you so crazy, they be back there, man, they be actually playing in feces. You know what I'm saying? Some of them do it to try to play the crazy role, to try to go to, you know, a mental hospital, you know, to get a break from <laughs> the prison mental hospital. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, man, they'll eat it, <laughs> smear it all on their face, smear it all on their chest, rub it all on the windows, rub it all on the walls. Man, the, the block be lit up so bad. And at one point in time, earlier in my bit, man, you know, this is how this is how they uh, just, uh, you know, care nothing about, you know, your, your, your health, your well-being and no nothing. They used to do that. If a dude be in segregation, then he do that. And, he, you know, automatically you can smell it all over the block. But if it's child time and, and, and it's time to feed and they don't never want to go in there and clean it up. And you know what they always do, which was always crazy to me, too. Just just as crazy as anything else. They'll go get a, 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 a inmate because he definitely was going to be an inmate. They'll go get an inmate that works and they will make him come and they will go in the cell to get the dude 
smooth out, which they never even wanted to do too because they know they may have to tussle with him and he got that stuff on him. So they'll put on all these little hazmat things. They'll go in there, rough him up or whatever, whatever, get him cuffed up. First, they're going to try to talk to get him cuffed up. Get him out, get him in the shower, leave him in the shower, stinking like a Lincoln. You understand? And instead of them who work there, who get a paycheck, you know, going in there and GI in that cell, GI, what well, we mean cleaning the cell, going in there and cleaning that cell with ammonia, bleach, or whatever chemicals that they might have to clean that cell out real good. You know what I'm saying? They gonna go get an inmate and get him, even if he not in SEG, he not gonna be in SEG. So he, they go get an inmate from population that got a job, a houseman job or something, and get him to come over there and go in there and clean up the cell, man. Why they sitting around walking around, you know, doing nothing, and they getting the, they getting the money for it. So then, if it's feeding time, they used to try to push the cars in there and try to feed and put these trays in there when the whole cell is smelling like dookie. You know what I'm saying? The whole cell block is smelling like dookie, and you trying to feed. How somebody gonna eat like that? That's just like eating in a bathroom. You know what I'm saying? That's just like eating in a porta pot. So. I think dudes have stopped filing lawsuits against that, saying that, it, you know, it was unsanitary, this, that, and third. And I think um, the Supreme Court or, or, or somebody ruled that it was, and they had to stop doing that. So whenever somebody did do that, they would hold up feeding and everything if, until it got clean. And like I say, they won't go clean it, so they'll wait until somebody go, you know, get somebody to come clean it. So if we supposed to get fed right now at 11 o'clock lunch, and somebody does this right, you know what I'm saying, right before lunch, then we may not eat lunch till 4 o'clock in the evening, you know what I'm saying, to, until this stuff is up. You know, and it happens the same way when they douse somebody because it still is in, the, is, in the, is in the atmosphere, is in the air. So if it happens around feeding time, man, you done held up feeding and everything. So you done got the whole block agitated. You done got everybody mad by this, you know what I'm saying, by these actions. But it goes down. Nevertheless, they still going to do it. Because, like I say, what the way a dude protests and when he protests is is only gonna be that that that's the only thing that he got power over in the penitentiary. You got power of what you do, how you do it, and when you do it. But you know what I'm saying? The consequences is definitely coming. You know they definitely coming. You can lay flat and believe that. But man, this that right there to me always was one of the ultimate disrespects, man, in prison. And um. A lot of dudes do it, man, but most of the dudes who do it, they do it because of the fact that they, they know prior to that they're not going to see you no more. You know, so so it's, it, it puts you in an awkward position too, like I say, depending upon the proximity of your cell. Because if you know when you come out that the dude that you arguing with, you got to walk by his cell, it's going to put you in a point where if he jaw jacking on the gate, you don't really want to say nothing to him. Even if you know in actuality, physically, you can crush him because you still now in a, in a bad position. Because when you come out, he can get you. You know what I'm saying? He can get you. And so dudes might be arguing on the gate and the dude might say, yeah, all right, man, you got that. You got that. Yeah, I know I got it. And he get off on you saying all types of stuff and it appears from the naked ear of people listening that he got you shook. You know what I'm saying? But he, you may be shook, but you shook for a different reason. I'm shook because I don't want no poop in my face. You know what I'm saying? I ain't shook because of what I think you can do to me or you chumping me down or whatever, whatever. I'm shook because I don't want no poop in my face. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nobody going to have to get it all but me. You know, and, and so yeah, man. But uh, yeah, that was that was that was uh, you know, and, and I started seeing this early, early in my bit, man. I think I seen maybe the first dude get doused with with with, with the poop, man. Was probably, man, probably they within, man, probably within um first two years, cause you know on in the wall, <laughs> it won't no thing. We got bars, you know what I'm saying? We got little, little literally got bars for our door. So dudes was getting doused with the poop. Dudes was getting doused with magic shave, mixed up in boiling hot water, wiping their skin, and you know you see pink and them peel their skin. Oh man, yeah, you know what I'm saying. It, yeah, it was going down. It was going down, man. And you know dudes would take milk and and and, and urine and mix it all up with magic and let it set for weeks and weeks, man. Did so much so that when you just take the top off, man, it has such a pungent or 
uh, like a, a, a ammonia smell, did it, man, it would literally make you sick. You know what I'm saying? Dudes can open that up in the block, man, and you wouldn't want to eat for the rest of the day just because of the smell. The smell was just that bad. It was just that bad, man. And um, yeah, so you know, the wall, you know, I was there early, so I seen it, man. I smelt it, and it's a smell that you won't forget. It, it, it's, 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 it's in your nostrils. You will never forget it. Once you smell it, you will never forget it. So just imagine the people who have gotten doused with it, who might have had, you know, some of uh, splash in their mouth or in their eyes or on their face and what's in their skin and they, you know, and you got to wash this off, you know. So, man, it's, it's like I say, it's an unforgivable act to me. You know what I'm saying? Unforgivable act to me. Punishable by whatever means necessary. But um, I'm, I'm fortunate, man. I'm fortunate. I ain't nobody never do that to me. I've been threatened. Dude have threatened to do it to me. But uh, he he didn't follow through. And um, I thank God every day he ain't follow through because I would still be following him <laughs> to this day until I caught him. But um, yeah, um, yeah. But I know some dudes, and I had some. I I, I didn't even have some. Uh, I didn't even have some dudes that was cool with me. Uh, you know, get that treatment. You know what I'm saying? But um. I've also had them, you know, known them to, uh, you know, get revenge as well. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's getting somebody else to do it because you ain't around that person no more. But um, yeah, you got you got the, you got those type of jokers in there, man. Cold bammers, man. They'll pull something like that because they're not man enough to pull up on you and you know, you know, knock it up or either you know bring that Bethlehem to your life. But you 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 will throw poop on somebody. You know, you'll throw feces and, and, and urine on somebody, man. You know, it, 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 that to me, that's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, prison would make you lose your mind. You know, prison would make you, you know, get into a culture of what's going on around in prison. Even though that might be something that never crossed your mind in your life until you entered prison. You know, and then when you see this is a, something that they don't weaponize, then... That's something that anybody can do. A lot of dudes ain't got the heart to pick the Bethlehem up and go with you. A lot of dudes ain't got the heart to fight you. But a lot of dudes got the heart to be behind that door and know that they'll never see you no more or in hopes that they would never see you no more. And they could call you all outside your name and they can douse you or whatever when you walk by their cell because they, they safe. You know what I'm saying? They safe. Now, if by chance those doors had the capability of popping open and they, that person was able to get to you, that probably would change the whole dynamic of what they're doing. But as the situation is, when them being behind that door, man, they feel empowered to do and say anything to you. And you can't do nothing about it. You know, nothing about it besides let them know what's going to happen to them if you ever run into them. And I've heard dudes tell dudes, and I know they mean it for sure. If you throw it on me, bro. I don't care where you must not never get out because whenever you do, if I get out first, I'll be waiting for you. If I get out second, I'll be coming to find you. You know what I'm saying? Because like I can say, I just don't think that's something that somebody will ever forget in their life if it happened to them. And um, if they're any type of man or got any type of spine in their back, they definitely going to want to uh, make you pay for that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, yeah, I know it's a crazy one, man. But all y'all kept asking me about that in the um, comments and stuff. People was asking me a lot about have I ever seen that? Have I ever witnessed that? Have I ever experienced it? I definitely ain't never experienced it, thank God. But I've seen it in witnesses a uh, countless amount of times, man. And, uh, yeah, it's a vicious act, man. It is it's definitely a vicious act. And um, you got to have some real, you know, dislike or distaste or hate going on for somebody to do that to them. But um, yeah, it's 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 common in prison, and I'm I'm assuming it's like that in all prisons. But um, definitely where I was at, you know, it won't, you know, like the biggest thing, you know. But it did go down, and it did happen. You know, what I'm saying a lot more than people talk about. But um, anyway, man, I just wanted to give it to y'all, let y'all know, give y'all some insight on that. Just like everything else, all things prison. If I know about it, I'm gonna try to let you know about it, man. But um. You know, like I say, it's a blessing in every lesson, man. And the blessing is, man, they didn't get me. <laughs> they didn't get me. Because if they got me, y'all might not never have gotten me. You know what I'm saying? So, in this positive energy, man, this, you know, this this positive movement, man. So, 
Anyway, man, I wanted to tell y'all that, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Talk to me. I talk back. Y'all be safe out there. Be smart. Make good decisions, man. I see y'all in about 24 hours, man. And if somebody threatening to do that to you, man, the best thing I can tell you is to run the other way or block that stuff, man. <laughs> it ain't even no blocking it. You can't even block it. It's coming through. It's coming through the cracks, man. So anyway, man, y'all duck them hooks, man. Y'all be safe. Be smart. Make good decisions. Special. Yeah, pure delicious. Pure delicious. Man. My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality. You know, and uh, I'm rich in love. My family love me, and that really, that's that's really the, all that counts.